In this video today, we will try to figure out how to compose a piece of music which can give you a little bit of chills. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the month of October, which means we are having Halloween at the end of it. So this brings us to the topic of uh, today's discussion, uh, how to compose music that can give you chills. That means a spooky kind of music. What kind of chords should we use? What are the phrasings and stuff like that. So before we begin, a small request. Uh, lately, I have been trying to grow my channel a bit. And uh, those of you who are new here, a subscription would really help. And uh, those of you who are not new here and uh, not yet subscribed, definitely subscribe to get more uh, this kind of videos in the future. Those of you who just want to listen to the small piece of music which we will compose today, they can directly jump into the music by clicking on the timestamp which I will post in the description of this video. So do that. And those of you who are really interested in you know, knowing how to you know, compose uh, this kind of music, just watch the entire video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. In uh, music, there are basically uh, two types of scales primarily. One is a major scale and uh, one is a minor scale. So the vibe of the major scale is mostly, you know, uh, a happy kind of a vibe in most of the cases. And uh, then uh, in case of a minor scale, the vibe is kind of uh, uh, sad. Now, one might argue that uh, a major scales note and some other minor scales note may be the same. Yes, they are called relative major and minor. But because you play those notes in a different order, this difference in feeling occurs. So like C major scale and A minor, both have same notes, but A minor sounds a little sad. C minor sounds uh, pretty much, you know, bright kind of a scale. So when we are talking about uh, this uh, spooky kind of a music, I think a minor scale is a, a you know, good starting point. One more thing we should uh, consider when we are uh, trying to create this kind of a music is uh, uh, when you are uh, trying to make something, you know, uh, sound little scary and stuff like that, you have to flatten some notes like there are basically seven degrees of a scale so there are seven notes in a minor scale so like this is your a minor a very common uh, uh, technique uh, to make something you know little uh, uh, unsettling is uh, to flatten the fifth and uh, the combination of root and flat fifth really sounds scary so those of you who are into metal you are already familiar to this kind of a sound specifically bands like slayer and all uh, they use uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, 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 note choices quite a lot so basically if we take a and the uh, a's fifth is uh, your e so uh, if i play a and e flat together it will uh, sound uh, quite unsettling see so this is basically in uh, normal terms what we call a uh, diminished diminished triad or something like that so this is my uh, uh, d diminished we will try and compose this thing in the key of a minor okay uh, for our first chord what we will do is basically uh, we'll take a plain vanilla a minor chord and we can ho we can hold it like this the stairway of heaven kind of shape and we will just add a flatted fifth with this so the flatted fifth that means e flat occurs here and one octave, octave down over here so we will because we are holding this uh, chord like this we will hold it like this only the flatted the e flat will hold over here overall it sounds like see quite unsettling right so that will be our fast chord 
now back to our uh, second chord what we will try to do you know we will try to introduce uh, the idea of uh, chromaticism so why chromaticism like if you play any four notes chromatically uh, it always sounds uh, very unnerving see anywhere you play that's why uh, we will uh, try and figure out uh, chords which will go chromatically which will have some notes which will go chromatically so <clears throat> we have started with this uh, a and uh, e flat over here or uh, in fourth and third string so what we will uh, do we will try and figure out a chord which will have this shape but just one fret uh, below which is uh, 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 starting from the uh, sixth fret so my uh, movement will sound like okay so now uh, if i look at this uh, notes uh, these are basically d and g sharp uh, now uh, initially uh, in my mind i had uh, thought of a minor but uh, g sharp uh, doesn't occur in a minor but uh, there's an uh, there's a kind of an a minor scale which have g sharp that is a harmonic minor uh, so what's happening over here basically my key is now becoming a harmonic minor instead of a uh, natural minor i haven't uh, you know thought of a harmonic minor when i uh, started but uh, as things are progressing uh, it turns out that uh, the now the key center the main key center is a harmonic minor what we will do in our second chord we will not uh, jazz it up uh, too much this uh, uh, sound itself is quite unsettling so we will just add uh, uh, this uh, d also with the, uh, this already d and uh, g sharp combination we will have this uh, sort of uh, d diminished triad shape so uh, uh, again the middle guys uh, are quite familiar with this shape the famous example being black sabbath's black sabbath the entire song is uh, kind of with this kind of chords only or with this idea only uh, so <clears throat> uh, this sounds very unsettling just listen to that song black sabbath so this will be our second chord then on to the third chord we will uh, you know keep on going down the fret and we will uh, take this shape to now fifth fret okay so <clears throat> when i see the shape on fifth fret two chords immediately comes in my mind one is your e flat 7 or one is your a7 now these two chords are actually very similar sounding because these are uh, uh, tritone substitutions a7 does not have that kind of a settled sound in it okay so but it is not that scary or that unsettling also so we will you know add some notes to it whenever i hold an a7 immediately the chord which comes to my mind is a13 so a13 uh, the 13th note see all this 11 13th 9th you might be hearing uh, uh, in uh, different places uh, the concept of this is uh, very easy actually so uh, anything anything above 7 uh, whatever be the number you just uh, deduct 7 from that and whatever the number you get that is uh, the that that note we are indicating of that scale means a13 means when we are talking about a dominant uh, chord we are we the uh, corresponding scale is a dominant scale so a13 means we have to find out 13 minus 7 the sixth note of a dominant scale so the sixth note of a dominant scale is f sharp which occurs here now what we will do we will uh, flatten this 13 because a13 itself does not sound that scary but if we flatten it to flat 13 then just listen to the sound so uh, uh, the flat 13 sound is quite scary right like it's it's uh, for me it's quite unsettling and one more note we will add because it's in the vicinity and that is this b flat so uh, in the uh, a dominant scale b is the second note or the ninth note 
so b flat will be flat 9 this flat 9 actually occurs in phrygian mode also okay so we will introduce uh, that note over here and the whole chord will be so it's quite an unsettling sound right so if we have to name this chord this chord will be something like a flat 9 flat 13 or a flat 13 add flat 9 whatever you want to call it now one more thing is uh, over here we are actually coming out of the key of a harmonic minor you remember we have uh, like uh, we have analyzed and come to the conclusion that uh, somehow we are actually writing this piece in a harmonic minor but this is the chord which is not there in the key in that key this this goes out if you analyze the note of uh, this chord then uh, you will be able to see all these notes are available in the uh, D harmonic minor scale actually the last chord or the fourth chord now when I'm selecting the fourth chord I will have uh, two things in my mind and first of all is this shape which is going chromatically uh, uh, we will keep that uh, chromaticism somehow and uh, uh, we will try and uh, you know uh, close the progression uh, what do i mean uh, by closing the progression is basically we will try and select a chord which will bring me back to my first chord which was a minor with a flatted fifth so if i uh, uh, you know take this shape just one fret up now uh, then you know it sounds like uh, yeah it is uh, repeating in a circle see so we will try and figure out a chord uh, which will have these two notes in it these two notes means d and g sharp again okay now uh, we already have used that d diminished triad uh, shape so we won't use that again uh, now uh, if you remember initially uh, uh, we have said that we are in the key of a harmonic minor so uh, when i am talking about a harmonic minor and also these two notes one chord which immediately comes into my mind is e flat 9 which is basically this shape so it has these two notes and it sounds quite unsettling also so we will use uh, uh, this chord okay and uh, because uh, this is that uh, uh, this, uh, this chord comes from the fifth of a harmonic minor so this will bring me back uh, to that uh, initial uh, a minor with a flatted fifth uh, uh, chord so we will use this chord we will uh, use this chord as our uh, fourth chord but what we will do we will not use the you know whole shape of this chord we will use only uh, this fourth string so we will use the top e string and then we will use the third second and first string so overall uh, if you see it will sound like and uh, if you see this last chord again the notes uh, which we are playing they also occur in uh, d harmonic minor so this chord actually you know uh, very well connects those, those two scales uh, a harmonic minor and d harmonic minor so uh, that will be the, the chord structure of this song and uh, initially i thought i'll uh, maybe uh, do some solo or uh, some sort of that thing with a harmonic minor and d harmonic minor and all but then uh, when the final thing came up uh, uh, i didn't feel like uh, getting into a full blown solo or something like that so what i have done and what can be done in uh, those kind of scenarios is basically you know uh, we can do all those uh, weird sounds with uh, guitar like this kind of sound or this kind of sounds or something like uh, something out of the blue completely like
something like beats uh, on a uh, very low volume if you play uh, on back of some chord uh, this also add uh, to the creepiness of the whole thing overall uh, this is what we will use so uh, without further ado uh, let's uh, uh, jump into it and uh, listen to it and uh, again if you uh, really like uh, uh, the piece uh, which you are about to hear don't forget to like and uh, share it to your friends and families and again if you are not subscribed please do subscribe thank you